Tonight we heard for the first time from candidates for Austin's mayor. Five of the eight candidates were on hand as the United Way of Austin hosted the debate in South Austin at the Alamo Draft House. KXAN's Angie Bevan takes a look at the issues and has reaction. I want to thank the audience for coming out and caring so much about the future of our city. Some new names and faces, but many familiar issues. We have gone from being the most affordable city in the city of Austin to the most expensive city. And that doesn't happen by accident. I think the challenges that we're going to have are pretty much the same, whether it's affordability, transportation, and water. The general focus of the debate was affordability, especially when it comes to housing and child care. Candidates also sounded off on investment in early childhood education and its impact on the economy. I believe that by supporting our, our children, we're going we're gonna to protect the great nature and soul of this city. And we're Councilman Mike Martinez says he'd like to see more local tax money stay in local schools. I think the economic impact is just as great as any other investment that we make. Another hot topic, traffic came up too. As I was supporting rideshare for the last two years. Todd Phelps is new to politics. Randall Stevens and Steve Adler are too. Cheryl Cole is Mayor Pro Tem and Mike Martinez is a current council member. Those who attended say the debate gave them first impressions of the candidates. The questions really allowed you to see um, what their interests were and what they wanted to do. One thing I might worry a little bit about is so many new people because, you know, I think that there needs to be a little stability on the council. The mayor will oversee a city government with 10 council members. That's new for Austin. Each candidate for council will run in their geographic district. There are dozens running, only two of whom have served already. Live in the studio, Angie Bevan, KXAN News.